That's offensive line, allowed four sacks. They were sloppy. Belichick tried everything. I mean, who am I to question Bill Belichick? I love the Subway commercials, but who am I to question him here? He tried everything to get his team going. They actually held, I don't know if you guys saw this, they had a team meeting, high school style. You would love this, both of you guys. They had it up in the bleachers. Yeah. They actually had a meeting. Mm -hmm. where, we're going to go in the bleachers. We're going to just try to shake the cobwebs, do something. First game in 13 days, 18, 12 days. Denver, they looked all out of sorts, but under the circumstances, Key, even with the return of Cam Newton, you kind of understand it. No, you do, it, but they're a better football team than that, and, and Bill Belichick knows that, but for whatever reasons, they haven't been able to practice at the level that they needed to to win this football game. You know, one day they're in the building, the next day they're out. One day they're in the building, the next day they're out. One day they Zoom uh, meetings, the next day they're in the building meeting. They're practicing one day. They're, so it's all, it was all over the map. Uh, Cam Newton, obviously, two interceptions yesterday. He just didn't. He wasn't sharp. They were not sharp as a coaching staff. I'm not worried about New England. Yeah, they could be two and three. Okay, so what? It's, it's, it's a long ways to go. I mean, they still got a long ways to go. I'm not worried about them at all. I think that they'll be fine. I've seen New England in positions where people have written them off in the past and said, oh, well, they're not, and then they wind up in a damn Super Bowl. <laughs> but, I mean, it's just so... Until they are mathematically eliminated, I'm not worried about them. It just feels like the game was sloppy overall, though, Key. I mean, both quarterbacks threw for two INTs. It just, there was no rhythm to the game. And, and my thing is, you know, obviously this morning all these narratives start to build because that's what happens in the media. The Miami <laughs> Dolphins have a better record in the AFC East <laughs> than the New England Patriots. This is the first time Bill Belichick, under 500 without Tom Brady, what is he going to do? Is he. Stop. I, I'm with you on all that. Just we need to stop all that. Yeah, I'm not worried about them. Now, you can build a narrative to go against the Pats. It, it's easy to do, but doesn't mean you have to do it, it just because it's there. they are <laughs> mathematically eliminated, I'm not going against them. I just, I don't care what their records say. They could be they could be 7-9 and nine and get in the playoffs. I'm, they go on to the Super Bowl until they're out of the playoffs. With the seventh spot this year, seven and nine might just do it. Cam Newton, you guys, you guys have all said this is pros. There's no excuses. But when you're out there one time in a span of 13 days consistently, Cam Newton said, look, that's going to affect you. I know exactly, you know, what it is. It's just respectfully for the sake of where we are right now. You know, I, I, I don't think it's beneficial for me to, to speak on that. Being obviously the performance today, you know, it showed a lot of, uh, the time off show, but yet, you know, like I said, I have to be better and I will be better. Straight talk, wireless, no contract, no compromise. Quick early look ahead to next week for the Pats, because obviously at this point you want to get them back to 500. As Jay said, sitting there two and three, what's going on? You're going to get a lot of hype this week. Nobody's talking about it. Let's be the first. It's Monday morning. We're on before everybody else. Jimmy G's return to Foxborough this week in San Francisco Ooh. at New England. Yeah, it, 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 it it's not a lot of hype, but they're coming yeah. off a win, beating the Rams mm -hmm. last night. Uh, you know, Jimmy G played well, but it is going to be that conversation. See, you could have had me instead of Cam Newton. That'll be the storyline is the Boston Globe and all the other newspapers. You'll be on the radio in Boston this week, probably. I'll be right? in the radio in Boston talking about it on... Uh, W-E-I, right? W-E-E-I. Yep. Um, Zubing, you're so impressive. And so... I'm paying it, attention. It's, I read all the emails. Just, a lot of just emails. Just like that. Just, just like that. the emails. <laughs> so when you look at it, they've got to bounce back. They've got a San Francisco team that feels good now coming into Foxborough. No fans. The weather will probably be good. It hasn't changed yet. And then it could be one of those games where Belichick dials up snow. Who knows? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he may just dial it up, you know? And so That Raiders affinity still there. Just, mm -hmm. I, I yes. <laughs> don't worry about the Pats at all. I just, I just don't worry about them. Can't I, worry about them. It's... The Pats are not a concern. Jimmy G coming back in town. Of course, the narrative then continues to build. I, I love it. And then the, next, the following week, they play the Bills. So it's like you have back-to-back -back weeks to kind of grind into the scenario. I, the one thing that I was a little bit surprised about, Key, is that usually when you see Bill Belichick have two weeks to prepare for a team. It was a different two weeks, though. Yeah, I different. understand. I know. A lot of moving parts. They're obviously dealing with camera things of that sort. But typically... Uh, the schemes are so on point that that takes care of itself with the execution of the scheme. Yeah, but when you only practice in, what do they practice, three times in those two weeks, that uh, 13 days? Or Less than days? that, actually. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, I hear you. I mean, that's, that's hard. No matter what's in place, you could tell there was something off from the delivery standpoint of throwing the football to uh, 
the running the ball to the defense being in positions. I only, I only give you a retort to this because we actually talked about it before, but then you have the Titans. That, how long did the Titans have off, Zubin? Yeah, they had 16 days off. So then they come back and they dominate their opponent. So on one end, same didn't have the same prep time, same issue. Yeah, but come it's back, di- dominate di- their opponent. Different, different teams, different players, different situations. Understood. I mean, it's just different. Keyshawn J. Will Zubin presented by Progressive Insurance. Progressive is proud to honor our veterans by donating cars to move their lives forward, especially in times of need. Learn more about their Keys to Progress program and plans for 2020 at keystoprogress.com. The key for the Pats was obvious. They just couldn't get into rhythm. Drew Locke, 41-yard completion on the second play of the game. It just sort of felt out of sorts. The key for the Bucks was an opportunistic defense. Sure, they fell down 10 nothing. Tom Brady did his part. But Bruce Arians, known for offense, as Jay mentioned, it was Todd Bowles and that defense that really spurred them. After the game, Aaron Rodgers said, yeah, this was embarrassing, but frankly, we probably needed it. I felt like we needed a little bit of a wake-up call at some point this season uh, because things have been so good. And there's been so much talk, maybe outside the building, about the ease which with, with which we're, you know, moving the ball on offense and scoring. You know, I think we need a kind of a kick in the ass a little bit as, as a little bit of a wake up to, uh, you know, stop feeling ourselves so much and get back to the things that got us this position. Love that honesty. They fall from 4-0 to 4-1. He also did say when he got home he was going to have a little extra scotch. He does like scotch the way uh, he loves tequila. So he's a little mm. stronger on the scotch after that particular performance. You said it before, Jay, and I agree with you. Key has always said you play who's on the schedule, but through their five games, it's not like it's been a murderer's row, and this is really a team that they faced that they knew they were going to have to play their best football against, and they fell flat just for 60 minutes, but they fell flat. All, all I'm saying is I, I, I know that Aaron Rodgers is having one hell of a year, but just they beat up on the Vikings. Okay, the Vikings are the Vikings. We, we've seen the Vikings, right? Uh, the Lions, not Lions. Patricia, the Lions, okay? The Saints, they were a little bit hobbled at that time, but still, I, good win. Then the Falcons, and then you get blasted by the Bucks. So, look, I understand that they're still playing without a couple pieces, and they still have Aaron Rodgers, but I, I agree with Aaron Rodgers. Sometimes you need a kick in the in the butt to get yourself into a different gear. Why are you looking at Wakey? You could have said it. It's, it's fine. Yeah, a kick in the butt. You, know. you didn't have to say butt. You could have said the other one. It's all right. All right but That's you know why I looked it. at you. Because I'm like, you know where I was going. It's early in the morning. Let me get some more <laughs> coffee in me. Let me get the energy level up first. All right, teacher. Kick in the keister. Kick in the ass. All right? At least I didn't say, say keister. Kick in the ass. You, right? you, don't kill it. me on butt. Kill him on keister now. It's the third time I've said kick in the ass now. Okay, kick in the ass. That's what you wanted, right? Fourth oh, time. gosh, you guys. <laughs> see, see, you bring the violence out of people. <laughs> now I'm violent. This dude. <laughs> God. On the other side, though, you're saying Tom Brady, even at 43, yeah, everybody brought him down there. Tampa Bay playing the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 55 in Tampa. At the end of the day, you're seeing the recipe is always the same. No matter what quarterback you are, no matter what age you are, if you have an opportunistic defense and you don't blank it up, you'll be in good yeah, shape. Yeah, you'll be you'll be fine. No interceptions. You know, look at Tom Brady's numbers yesterday. Those are pedestrian numbers, very, right? Very. They threw for less than 200 yards. Mm-hmm. But very effective and efficient. Ronald Jones rushed for over 100 yards. The defense got uh, Aaron Rodgers off his mark. So when you look at that, that has always been the success to get to the Super Bowl. I know people look at, they look at, Kansas City from a year ago. And the first thing they say is, Patrick Mahomes, oh, he's throwing the ball all over the place. They won the Super Bowl. That's not how they won the Super Bowl. He hit a few plays. If Jimmy G connects with Samuels, I mean, with Emmanuel Sanders, right. game might be over. We're not even having that conversation. So I like defense, quarterbacks not making mistakes and running the ball and making big throws when need be to get to the Super Bowl and win it. That's what I always like. Zubin, can I start it? Go for it. Are you ready? Go for it. Is it the year for Tampa? Tampa Bay Lightning? Tampa Bay Rays? And? Tampa Bay Buccaneers? It's a good three for all.